Hey guys, Mike here with Century Security Systems Incorporated. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the user account management. This is going to cover adding and deleting users and assigning the specific permissions related to that. So you can set, you know, what they can back up, what they can view, all that sort of stuff. So we're going to go ahead down here at the bottom under maintenance and management and click on account management. Once we're in here, we're going to get a toolbar across the top. It's going to give us a list of all of the users, the ability to add a user, edit, delete and as well as copy, okay? So we've got our main user, that's me, super user. It's got my password and everything set. Okay, if I click on edit, I've got full access to everything. Of course, it is the super user, recommend that you leave it that way. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add a new user. So user type, administrator or operator, really should only have one administrator on here. Um, in some some situations you may need more but so we're gonna go ahead and change that to operator and username um, I guess we'll just call this customer service we'll just use an example of this going in a department store so I'm just gonna make the password CS okay now user permissions we can copy these to another user account nice and easily in here and we can go down here and set what they have actual access to so live view once we click that now we have the option of selecting which cameras they have okay so i've got my group different groups here so i can say that they have access to the backyard camera the entrance camera but not the garage camera that sort of thing okay ptz control pretty self-explanatory there capture gives them the ability to take a snapshot um, of the live view record allows them to manually start the recording camera settings you know a lot of the stuff we don't want the the customer service account to have access to um, we may want them to example have the ability to playback video files so they can see if you know somebody came into the store with the item that they're trying to return but maybe we don't want them to be able to download that for privacy concerns right we don't want them downloading video and uploading it onto YouTube of people shopping in in your store, so we leave that unchecked. Okay, really, the only thing they should need is those two settings. We definitely don't want them to be able to exit out of the program. Okay, so that's how I would typically set that up: live view, playback, no downloading, no exiting, no changing settings, all that sort of stuff. So go ahead and hit save. Oh, it doesn't like that password. It wants it to be at least eight characters long. So you can see once I've put in a, a, an eligible password, we get the first bar showing up. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And now I have my customer service user account. So I can continue on creating multiple user accounts. These are accounts that they use on the machine itself. If you don't have the auto login enabled, um, they can use it in the cell phone app. Uh, the, they can, you can actually install this and run it just as a CMS client on different PCs throughout the store, that sort of thing, preventing them to have access to anything that they don't need to. So that covers the user account management. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Any questions, just shoot an email off to tech at cctvcentury.com. If you like the IBMS platform, you're interested in purchasing that from Century Security, Email sales at cctvcentury.com. Mention you saw the YouTube videos and you're interested in the IVMS platform. Thanks a lot, guys, and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos.